Mobile's own Jason Caffey is one of the few people in the world who can say they play with Michael Jordan and the championship Chicago Bulls squad. Right now, the Last Dance documentary is on ESPN. It wraps up Sunday night with parts 9 and 10. Here's more of our conversation with J Jason on his role on the Bulls. Championship, baby. <laughs> Back with part three with Jason Caffey of University of Alabama, the Chicago Bulls. You know him. He was part of that dynamic team that is being featured in the Last Dance documentary on ESPN. Uh, we focused on a couple of things before. First, we kind of talked about the documentary in general. Then we broke down how the Bulls are good. I want to put the focus on your story here. So when you were coming out of Alabama, you were drafted in the first round by the Bulls, correct? Correct. So tell me a little bit about that transition from growing up in Mobile, playing for the Tide, to going to to the Bulls that had a team with Michael Jordan on it. it? It was actually destined for me, now that I look back on it. Uh, senior year, and I'm going to tell you a quick story, go back to 1991. Uh, I'm one of the top 25 players in the country. And, and that's how you get invited to bigger tournaments, by having good players on your team. So Davidson, Davidson High was invited to the Windy City Classic in Chicago in 91. Cool. First year that Chicago Bulls won their championship. Now, me not being an arrogant kid, being laid back and pretty level-headed, I thought that my coach and the uh, AD at the school at that time would have invited me to go to the Chicago Bulls game, which they took and went to. They did not invite me, so I wind up ticked off sitting in Geno's Pizza, watching the game, eating a deep dish pizza, uh, just watching it and, and, and praying about the situation. Four years later, after a career at the University of Alabama, now I'm back in Chicago winning championships with the guy that I wanted to see play that night that I didn't get a chance to see play. That's incredible. What was it like as a rookie to win the championship your rookie season? Man, it was a great experience. Also, it was an eye-opener. Uh, Michael, they had me doing everything from toting their luggage to going <laughs> to pick up uh, cigars for them. Yeah. And uh, this is what's crazy about it. We won the championship, so we didn't get a draft pick the next year. I had to live up to those rookie expectations again the second year with lifting all the luggage again. <laughs> so they put me through it two years in a row. But, but your minutes increased and you became more a part of this team with your sophomore season and then heading into the third year too. The second year, if you don't know, they won again. This was the second three-peat for the Chicago Bulls. Now we're at the point where it's the 97-98 season that the focus is on for the last dance. Were you devastated by the trade? Were you happy to be away from Krause? What were your thoughts at that time? Uh, I was upset that I wouldn't get to walk through this last dance with those guys because I knew it was the end of it. I knew Michael wasn't coming back. I knew Phil wasn't coming back. I really wanted to be a part of that third championship. However, I was still a young player at that time. I wanted to move on to a situation where I could get more playing time. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, I ended up on the worst team in the league at that time. The Golden State Warriors were nothing compared to what they are to this day. They built a powerhouse. Right. Congratulations to them. But uh, it was tough for me being in the West at 6'8", playing center against Shaq, Olajuwon. A lot of my injuries were sustained during that time because I was just undersized to play against those guys. I was a power forward. Yeah. I shouldn't have been playing against centers. Lastly, with all the hype surrounding the last dance now and looking back and a whole new generation of younger fans discovering that Bulls dynasty of the 90s, what does it mean to you to look back and say, I was a part of that, I played with Michael Jordan, I've got two rings. What does that all mean to you? It's, it's a real proud feeling to me. Uh, actually, like I told you earlier, I had one of my sons, Brian Caffey, call me early in the week after he saw the documentary. And he says, Daddy, I apologize. I'm sorry. I see why you pushed me as hard as you did now because of the way Michael Jordan pushed you. That's why you wanted me to train that way. I wish I would have knew now what you were trying to teach me back then. So looking back, just an incredible experience, right? Man, one of the greatest, the greatest experience of my life was hearing my name being called for the 20th pick of the Chicago Bulls. Then from the go to that, 
to winning my first championship, not making the playoff roster, working, staying in Chicago all summer long, the second year, making the playoff roster, contributing. Uh, man, it was just a high that I can never, I don't think I'll ever be able to match it in life. Thank the Lord. Well, we thank you for spending some time with us today here on Fox 10 and Studio 10. Jason Caffey, everybody, I got to still work on my game, man. I'm still trying to get to that level. Let's get it in, bro. <laughs> Let's do it. Thanks a lot, man. Appreciate it. That's what's up. Go in. <laughs> ah. How awesome is that? That's like that conversation is so cool, you know? Yeah, really cool to sit to. And, and again, I was watching that Bulls team growing mm -hmm. up. I mean, that was my childhood, watching them every night on WGN, watching the Chicago Bulls. And so great stuff there. Again, you can catch the finale of that series, The Last Dance on ESPN. But so cool that we have this local tie from Mobile. Thanks again to Jason Caffey for spending time with us. Yep.